So, it's time to head to Florida for a little fun. Only this time, you want more than a brief vacation. The mansion on South Beach is a little beyond your reach. A camper on the back of the pickup, though, is a little too small. You need to stretch your dollars, but nothing less than a resort will do. Let me tell you how manufactured housing communities just might fill the bill. You set aside a little money, you have at least a few months a year free, or you can take your work with you. Perhaps you're even ready to come to Florida full time. Living in a community seems to offer the active lifestyle and friends you seek, but the choices and options are making you dizzy. Let me tell you why manufactured housing communities might meet your needs. I'll also try to dispel some of the bad information that's out there. These communities are not for everyone, but for hundreds of thousands, it's a Goldilocks solution. Hello, I'm Russ Watson, and I created Florida Manufactured Home Living to enrich the lives of manufactured homeowners and educate the public on its benefits. This is the fourth in a series covering the resort parks. Let's dig in. Friends and fun are the main reason my wife and I live in a manufactured home community. But there are many other advantages. Let's take a look at some. Pre-owned homes in these communities can present a tremendous bargain. Handyman specials can be found as low as $10,000 or less. Older homes in very good to excellent condition can easily be found under 50 grand. New homes are priced well below what you will pay for site built. Closing costs are minimal. Monthly lot rents are not the bargain they used to be, but in relation to other rental options, they remain a bargain. Initial cost in resident owned communities will be a bit more but lot rents, normally rolled into the HOA fees, will be considerably less. I made a video dedicated to the topic of lot rents. You can access it via the tab in the upper right or from the link in the description below. Property taxes on leased land are considerably less than a home on private land. This savings partially offsets the cost of lot rent. In some parks, it's included in the lot rent. Folks often choose land lease over more expensive options as it frees up cash. Rather than reinvest the full proceeds from the sale of their home up north, they choose to devote a part of these funds to fulfilling lifelong dreams. That could be an RV, that special motorcycle or car you've always wanted, money for travel, or any other retirement dream. Another advantage of community living is the increased security it provides. Many communities are gated 
at least overnight. This provides some comfort, but uh, there are other deterrents that are much more effective. Communities with a neighborhood watch program are a big plus. These programs are often associated with the local sheriffs or police department. The program may even include patrol vehicles. Even in communities without watch programs, there is the constant traffic of caring neighbors throughout the park. Most communities are close-knit with neighbor watching neighbor and a management team watching the entire park. You own your own home, often without a mortgage. Parking is in your own driveway. Most homes have carports or garages, so there's no need to get wet getting in and out of the car on a rainy day. Of course, this is Florida, so you'll never need to shovel. Creating a beautiful garden and decorating a yard are not something you'll find available in apartments or condominiums. You can even grow your own pineapple. Family and friends are always welcome to visit. One reason to choose a resort community is the joy of watching the grandkids in the pool. In 55 plus communities, some consider it a benefit that the kids can't move in. Surely they say that in jest. Screened in porches and storage sheds provide additional living space. A backyard patio is a great place to entertain friends and neighbors. Holidays are special in these communities. Like a small village, everyone gets festive. New Year's, Easter, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving or Christmas, there's always a celebration. I think we've answered the question, why should you live in a manufactured housing resort? There's a lot of bad information out there. Let's deal with a few misconceptions. These homes are easy to buy. Closings can occur in as little as a day and may not even require the buyer or the seller to be present. It has been my experience that homes in these communities tend to hold their value. Recently, we are actually seeing prices increase. Every investment strategy has goals. The key is to be sure that buying a home in one of these communities meets your goals. A home or a second home that you and your family can afford and enjoy is always a good investment. Renting land is not the best option for everyone. A manufactured home on a private lot is a great option for young folks starting out. Also, if absolute privacy and the right to just do as you please are high on your list of goals, this is for you. As far back as the late 50s, it was recognized that some folks wanted to own their own lot. This is done in either a subdivision or more rarely in a condominium community. The other common option is a resident-owned community formed as a co-op. You don't actually own your lot, but you do own a share in the co-op that owns the land. Not much survives a direct hit by a Cat 4 or Cat 5 hurricane. This famous picture shows a park destroyed by Hurricane Andrew. Yet hundreds of thousands of older manufactured homes have been through decades of hurricanes on the Florida coasts. Think about this as you drive through these communities. It's up to you to decide if this lifestyle meets your needs. For a complete guide, get my book, Retirement in Florida, The Land Lease Option. There's a link below if you want a copy. Now you understand the advantages offered by manufactured home communities. We will explore this further in this series. Please hit the subscribe button below to be notified when new videos are uploaded to the channel. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button. It really helps. Questions or suggestions can be entered in the comments. 
If you currently live in a manufactured home park or are considering one, I recommend you look at the resources available through my website and Facebook page. The links are posted in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.